to fulfill all righteousness. Thank you so much for joining us as we're continuing our verse-by-verse study through the book of Matthew. We're in Matthew chapter 3, verse 15, which says, But Jesus answered and said to him, being John the Baptist, Permit it to be so now, for thus it is fitting to fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed him. So if you haven't been following, check out the earlier videos. We have John the Baptist coming and, or Jesus coming to John the Baptist, right? And asking him to be baptized. Jesus asking John the Baptist, can you baptize me? And John's confused. Why should I be doing that? You should be baptizing me. And so Jesus answered that with this verse that says, permit it to be so now for thus it is fitting to fulfill all righteousness. That's pretty big, right? Pretty important. Now, I just want to ask you, come close. We're going to We're going to go deep with this for just a moment, okay? So come with me. So baptism is all about repentance, right? And Jesus is trying to show us, he's trying to be our example for everything we should be copying, right? And we all, all of us, you do, I do desperately, we need to repent. We need to turn from our old life and turn to God. We need to turn from our sin. Even if we're saved, we need to turn from the sin that we're currently in and turn to God, right? It's all about repentance. We need to be repenting every day, turning back to God, getting back, getting closer to God. Now, there's a problem. Jesus never sinned, right? So he had nothing really to repent of. But check this out. Jesus, on the cross, he took on the sin of the entire world. He took on everything. Every sin you have ever done, every sin I've ever done, he took on completely on himself on the cross and received all punishment. And truly, he was fulfilling all righteousness with God because of your sin and because of my sin. Now, for us, we just need to look to Jesus. Look to him for everything in your life. I sure love you guys.